coming up on the Life is the Future podcast. It sounds like after a long day of work, like I, I really just need my no, downtime. We and that's, that's all I was doing. All I had was downtime. Yeah. Um, I feel like now, like as I'm like getting older and I'm busy, I feel like I'm using social media to like communicate with yeah. people, like stay in touch with people. Like genuinely, I, I do feel like I use it now way more to like stay in touch than just like do whatever yeah. I was on my phone that I was doing at the time, like making musicals or whatever. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I know I was on YouTube a lot, so... Uh, I was a YouTube kid, yeah. Hey, this is Scott Todnam, and you're listening to the Life is the Future podcast, a podcast for health education, middle school, and life in general. It's a very special episode. We have Reese and Lauren, our season two hosts of this podcast from back in 2019 and 2020. They are revisiting one of their episodes that they recorded as eighth graders, now graduating seniors from high school. This is a cool opportunity we have every single school year. We're very fortunate that these two are still in the area, now graduating high school, looking back and reminiscing on their life at the end of middle school. They'll press play and we'll listen in in real time as they react to the former version of themselves from eighth grade, what opinions were right on, what was way off, and, and what other thoughts come up as they listen in to one of their podcast episodes from 2020. So without further ado, here's Reese and Lauren, the senior year version of Reese and Lauren reacting to their eighth grade selves. Check it out. All right. Hi, guys. My name's Reese. I'm Lauren. Welcome back to Life is a Future podcast. Yes. Um, we are both currently seniors at Nequa Valley, and we are graduating this weekend actually mm -hmm. so we decided to come back for a couple more episodes and just go kind of reminisce i guess yeah we're reacting to an episode we did um called social media in middle school and we have three guests on this podcast at the time um this is from season two so we're just gonna listen to it and give our honest feedback and maybe like change or like i don't know react to what we said life in general is episode five of season two of our podcast, right from the health ed classroom. Here's this week's hosts, Lauren and Reese. Okay, now we're recording. Okay, um, hi guys. Um, I'm episode five. I'm Lauren. She's Reese. Reese. Um, and we're here with our three guests. My name's Sophia. Nara. <laughs> and Rishi. Um, so this week's like, okay, how about you guys tell a little about yourself? I'll go first. Okay. My name. Well, you know my name, Sophia. But um, I'm in eighth grade. I do dance. I do lacrosse. And in school, I. I'm on the flag football team with Reese. We're the, like, oh, there's only so three so. girls on the team. All right, we're but skipping. Girls basketball team. We gives you like, like, like break. yeah, like uh -huh. gymnastics is like kind of not that it like takes over your life, but like, mm -hmm. what, what do you think? Like going in my car ride to gymnastics, I'm on my phone and back, and so like, do you guys think that's bad though? No, like, no. If, if just whoever's driving you, do you think it's okay to be on your phone, or do you think that they want you to talk to them? I mean, it's my dad, and like he picks up six other girls, and everyone's on the phone. Oh. Okay. Do you think that your oh, screen yeah, time like changes house? per what? day of the week? I, I'm not allowed to be on my phone in the car on the pass in the passenger seat. No, I actually don't have that rule. Really? I, yeah, it's always actually, been a rule. I'm always on my phone in the car. Like anytime there's any like silence or anything, I'm like, oh, I pick it up. <laughs> well, they're talking right now about um how Arushi and like all of them are in sports and um they're like on their phone in the car and how um it gives them a break in so okay, in between like, like sports. Bigger? If I'm busy like one day, obviously it'll be less that day, but like, but like, I don't know, six hours just seems like a lot for one day. So during yeah. school, um, we're in school, we're in school for like eight hours, so that takes off like time. And like, and after that, you're like, after school sports, no, and you have club sports. Oh. And then the rest <laughs> of the time, like, you have homework. And that takes some time. And you have like the last two hours. Yeah, I'm with you. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take my phone in the shower for music. Because like, it's giving you a break. Yeah, you have less stuff to do. You have less stuff to do. Either whether it's like Instagram or TikTok Snapchat. or Snapchat or even like YouTube I used or Netflix. To, I used to not be on Snapchat a lot, but like now it's. Great. I think that Snapchat's like my second most used app. Mm -hmm. That's like my first. I'm like I'm like Snapchat, TikTok, Netflix. Yeah, but I also know there's been like some problems with Snapchat because like people use that more to bully people. Oh yeah, that's true. And <laughs> talk about no, it. Yeah. 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 Or like Snapchat. Stories, like, you know, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, like yeah, like ranting about someone yeah. or posting some like a photo yeah. of them when they're not, like they, they can't do it. I still feel like that's true. Like when people like, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, someone's like honestly like yeah. I can't deal with this person. Yeah. Like they say that on their private story, but like, mm -hmm. so if you're, knows that I, I don't know. Like I feel like that was all true. I don't like hearing it, but like I feel like it like kind of still stands. Yeah, I um, think like 
I don't know, people compare them, themselves on Instagram a lot. I feel like that's become a new thing. Yeah. And then also, like, TikTok. Like, people oh, yeah. have, people are ruthless in comments. Um, and so I feel like that's the new thing that's but I changed like in four years. TikTok became more of a norm than it was then. Like, yeah. it was definitely, because it was still kind of new, I guess. But um, it's definitely, like, now, like, I'm always on TikTok. Same, that's my most used app. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Most definitely is. I, also, like, I hate Snapchat sometimes. Oh, like, same. I have to, like, separate, but I have, I literally separate time in my day for, like, TikTok. Like, I sit there and I'm like, okay, like, it's time for me to sit in my room alone. <laughs> I look forward every single night to me just yeah. sitting in my bed. But I have to, I was actually just talking to, like, my sister about this today. I watch TV on my computer and then I have to oh, be yeah. scrolling on oh, TikTok yeah. at the same oh, yeah. time. Which I think is so bad, but, like... But, it, like, I, I can't, like, sit there and, like, watch TV and not do anything else. Like, also, I, just... I feel like in high school, like, you're so busy throughout the day that, like, I don't find myself, like, scrolling. Yeah. I don't know. I do sometimes scroll for hours and hours. But, like. No, I guarantee you my screen time's actually really Wait, should we look at it? Because <laughs> someone, one guest, I forgot who it is, she said that her screen time was um, two hours. Mine is literally 45 minutes right now, and it's because I have not had time. My to daily be on average my phone. is six hours and 46 minutes. Today it's three hours. Mine's been 45. I literally have had, like, just everything I've been doing today, but normally it's probably around six. Especially in summer, yeah. Six hours. Like, okay. you're talking about someone. Mm-hmm. And if you, like, if someone is talking bad about you, like, how do you, like, how do you deal with that negativity? Because like, sometimes, you know, yeah, like, sometimes it can be, like, not that bad, but, like, other times, like, sometimes it, like, really gets to you. Sometimes, you know? like, yeah. if you just, okay, like, like, if someone, like, face. walks up to you and says, oh, I, like, heard, of, like, someone told me, then you don't, okay, I don't think you should just, like, go off on face them. your opinion off of them. I think you should, like, walk up to them. Because, like, that's happening before. Like, I've mm-hmm. heard things that other people have said that they've heard, but then I have to ask the person. See if it's true. And to see if, like, it's true. And it's something, it's completely different. And you can tell if they're lying or not. Mm-hmm. Well, and sometimes it's just a completely Never different thing and things lost. get turned around. So you yeah, can ask, true. like, the main person. Yeah, so I'm kind of confused because we literally are talking about um, social media and we're talking about in-person yeah, confrontation on this. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, I don't okay, really. but I, I don't experience in-person confrontation. I've I don't only, think I ever have. Like, oh, I, I did one time this year um these girls were talking about me at lunch and i was sitting right there um and but that's the only time but i've i don't know i feel like if i'm getting in fights with people i'm like in arguments with people on snap like you know yeah and they're my friends but i don't really experience anything like i've only had one one like this year but I didn't even, like, I literally separated myself immediately. I was like, guys, don't even, like, talk about yeah, me. Yeah, don't, please. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know, know why we were acting like. Yeah. So, you think it's better to, like, talk to people <laughs> in person? I think that's a good thing. Like, I'm acting like I've, I've gotten <laughs> 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 just, like, all, I like, 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 all I do all day is confront people. I feel like that's weird, but, like, you can see if they're lying or not. Like, if they're, like, looking at you or whatever. But I feel like you should just talk to them. Okay, I'm going to skip. Yeah, and I bet, like, so social media obviously can be used in a negative way, but I feel like social media can be used in such positive ways to like spread awareness or like. Yeah. If you, like, post, in if touch, you post on Instagram, people are gonna be like, "You look so bad." Like they're like, "Oh my gosh, you look so bad." Everyone like, cares what other people think on social media. For sure. Yeah. Like okay, I don't have Snapchat exposed, but like I don't. But Instagram. <laughs> sure, I have a long um, <laughs> um, there. Um, I feel like Instagram kind of, like, there's created, like, a stereotype of, like, what people look like on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But I also like, think people's friends can help them with that, because yeah, even, even if they don't think they look pretty, their friends are still there to tell them, like, Carmen, yeah, you look like, good. And you stuff. look pretty, yeah. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Um, so I have gotten Snapchat since. <laughs> That was like a big thing. I didn't have Snapchat. Um, I actually remember that. Yeah, <laughs> I actually I forgot about that. My messages. Yeah. All <laughs> yeah. Um. But I I don't know what were we talking about about Instagram. I I feel like TikTok is like people. I said earlier that people are really negative, but like people also use TikTok to like raise money for things. Yeah. And I don't know. I feel like it's become such like more of like a safe place. I feel like yeah. I feel like I, like people are always kind of bonding i don't know over yeah. something on tiktok and people are being more like real on tiktok so that instagram looks less yeah. like i don't know i don't i don't at least for me i don't like compare myself on instagram to people like i used to no, before I actually, tiktok i think yeah. i feel like i <clears throat> like since actually i don't even know if i really did this i think i was just talking to talk yeah, but like <laughs> i like i mean since then i've obviously like i think i've gotten less scared of posting on like social media definitely but um like i don't know i feel like 
it wasn't even that bad. I just think everyone kind of wants to blame something for yeah. that because I know for a fact I was not sitting there on Instagram scrolling no, through. No, I didn't even have Instagram <laughs> until seventh grade, so I've at this point have had Instagram for six months since this <laughs> podcast. Um, no, I definitely agree, and I also think it's becoming like way more casual. I just think people are caring less about. Yeah what they're posting. Well, and a lot of people are being so more authentic different right now. Yeah. And be, are so different from each other. Like, yeah. COVID happened. I feel like everyone's just their own person yeah. now. Like, it's like... I don't really know what I was acting like being, like, <laughs> like in Miami with, so like... <laughs> yeah. It's, parents definitely think social media is a distraction, for sure. Like, sometimes my parents will, like, just get off your phone. Because I know some kids have a screen time. Mm-hmm. And stuff. Or getting so, <laughs> But at the same time, it's not that... On a, not a, any of us would like bully people but like maybe to use it in a more positive way do you think health classes help with yes. that we talked about this one girl i forgot what school we were, but like it was last year and then she like made this like app i don't remember what it was called but it was like before you send a text it's like mm-hmm. are you being kind or whatever mm-hmm. like, i saw that on shark tank yeah yeah and like it got she got like really like well known for that <laughs> she got like really well known for that because she was like so finding a way to make everything positive instead of your name stuff. yeah i genuinely think it's so funny that we're acting like we were like <laughs> Like, like we were going around bullying people. Like, <laughs> like oh none of us. I actually have early. experienced. <laughs> I was talking about that, and I, I had never experienced bullying no, ever. Like, like we're acting like bullying. It, I swear, it's not even that popular. Like, it's not really no. That popular I thing. especially like, now. Like, I really. Yeah. Maybe I'm just in a like a bubble, maybe but I'm like you, yeah. yeah. But, like I just feel like. <laughs> I just feel like it was not as prominent as no. Uh, I also feel like our school is very, like, inclusive. Yeah. And, like, the people that, like, I don't know. There's people that get bullied. Like, I, people, if people have, like, special needs or if people look a different way. Like, Nikola is so diverse and so accepting yeah. that I don't think it's – I at least don't think it happens around here to any, like, extreme extent. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's just not, like, that. Like, it's, like – it's just different. I don't know. Yeah. I just don't think we're – as bad as we're making it seem. No. In here. <laughs> we are talking like we have had oh, just the most awful experiences. Like, yeah. yeah. Trisha. Trisha. Power boot. Yeah. Power boot. <laughs> Trisha. Um, yeah. So like, I think, I think like in different health classes, we can, we can learn about how to better use ourselves on the phone. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also like, it depends on the environment too. Cause you know, yeah. if you don't, if you don't really have a good like teacher this or class, me, it makes, yeah. it, it makes it harder for you. In <laughs> There's certain teachers who I can't tell certain things about because I don't feel close to them. You don't have the connection. Yeah. But yeah, that's true. Yeah, but like also they can also help you with stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Teachers. But you I don't never know. want to tell the wrong person <laughs> about something mm-hmm. because if you say something like mm-hmm. whatever. So what like positive things do you think you've seen <laughs> or? I've you've seen, taken out of like social media I've or been, even health class. I've like, said this one. Sorry, can I? Go ahead. You can go next. Okay. I already said this one, but like when like someone posts something on Instagram, people are like seeing like good things about them, like oh you look good, or like like just like positive positive comments that, like make people like happy, yeah, and, like, feel good about make, them, make them feel confident about like what they look like and all that stuff. And not that I know, no one ever says like something mean. I mean like if it's like your friend, they might see something as a joke, but like you don't take it like the wrong way because you know the person. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. I also think it helps on social media when, like, even if you don't know the person, when you see something on there and it's like they're going through the same thing as you, maybe, yeah. then you know what that you're not. What were you going alone. through, bro? <laughs> you, have, um, you know, like, what? be able to talk to them directly, yeah. but the stuff they're saying is maybe relating the <laughs> stuff you're feeling. Like, oh, definitely I was not contact. going yeah. through yeah. that yeah. Yeah. You can stay in contact with people, like, from camps or something. Let's say, like, yeah, let's say, like, um... You're on your phone, and like some people think you're being on your phone to be like antisocial, but you might be like text people saying like, "When can you hang out and stuff?" No. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Like we're going through things, but I, I don't know. Like, if any, if anything, I've struggled in high school, and I feel like having friends is yeah. like you're able to talk to people on the phone. But yeah. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying here. Well, I also like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, my phone helps me like figure out plans but <laughs> when i'm with my friends i'm not really like on my phone like i will yeah. i actually do put my phone down like when i'm with yeah my at dinner like, yeah 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 so i don't know what we're no and i don't about. know the point about teachers but i do think <laughs> it has nothing to do no. with social media <laughs> no. but i do think like i've found teachers that i can really re- not relate to but like 
I don't know, you always, like, hear about teachers that have, like, made such a big impact on you, and I feel like I found those in high school, but I don't know what that conversation was while we were doing this. Um, like that, and, like, you're trying to play at a time to, like, get off your phone. Um, so, here's the bell. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> Sophia, I think there are definitely more positive, positive things, positive I think there are more positives than negatives yeah, yeah, on social media, and I think sometimes the negatives can take over this, like, stereotype that's on social media. Yeah, exactly. but, like, I feel like four really, years ago, there were a lot more negatives than positive. I I completely disagree with what I've said here. Yeah. But I think now there's a lot more positives. Also because yeah. I've gotten older and I've, like, matured on social media, so, like, now I'm not using it immaturely. Like, I feel like yeah. I was, like... I feel like, like, yeah, four years ago, there was definitely more, like negative things going yeah, on like no one was and responsible I feel like and it'd be like i feel like it was more of a thing too to like send stuff around like and oh, like talk about people yeah. then but i feel like maybe it just might be like our class like as you get older like i don't know yeah. what other classes are like i don't know what eighth graders are doing i now, feel like, but like our class specifically like our senior class who we know are very mature on yeah, social media yeah. i don't think aside from like that account that was just made but like <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> but yeah i just don't like i don't know i feel like we've matured and like no one really wants to use social media like bad like it's like no you go on to have like to enjoy your time and then like, yeah look through stuff that you find interesting and then like you're done like I don't know. yeah it's not like this big thing that we're yeah, I think there's way more to, to social media and even <laughs> using your phones. It can be used as, like, yeah. a downtime or, like, a way to relax after a long day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> like, no. How do you think, like, you guys might – do you think you're going to keep on using social media oh, yeah. the way you are now okay, or, like, I, I don't find know. a different way to, <laughs> you, did. you know, you did. You did. I definitely like, want to be on it less. Yeah. It's like, I want to, like, interact, like, with people around me and stuff. Like, Instead of, like, imagine, being on my phone, like, 24-7 when I have, like, people over. Imagine. Yeah. So I think that's, like, kind of, like, rude. I'm yeah, not, that's why I do. Yeah. I don't know if this is something, like, like, weird. Like, imagine, like, us all being adults, like, me still Snapchatting a Rushi. Yeah. Like, what if, like, but, imagine if we, like, this I do like, actually think about yeah, that. I... Like, my streaks that are over a thousand, I... I'm gonna keep going. Like, we're gonna be our time here. We're not, like, gonna get the angle. <laughs> the under the table picture. Yeah. All right, so, thanks for being here and talking to us today. I think we had a good discussion. No yeah. problem. And, oh, no um, I guess we'll see. We we yeah, what next we week is slow. But then we'll be back with two more guests. I hope. Yeah, yeah. I'll be one. I'll be one. I'll be one. Let me be one. Okay, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. We just. Oh, is so, that like all credits? No. Yeah. Then he talks after. I don't know. So I, I think the hosts today were way better than oh, at least I 100%. was. One hundred percent. Um, they asked like very like depth questions. Yeah, ours were kind of. I feel like we just repeated the same question. Yeah. Actually, so social media is more positive than <laughs> negative, and I disagree with that yeah. anyway. So, um, um, I definitely say that <clears throat> we were a little dramatic back then too because. I definitely don't think I was going through as much as I made it seem like I was. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> I, yeah, I don't even know. I feel like, I also don't feel like I go on my phone as much as I, like, it, as it sounds like I did. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like, no, but I feel like for me, it sounds like after a long day of work, like, I, I really just need my no, downtime. We and that's, that's all I was doing. All I had was downtime. Yeah. Um, I feel like now, like, as I'm, like, getting older and I'm busy, I feel like I'm using social media to, like, communicate with yeah. people, like, stay in touch with people, like, genuinely. I, I do feel like I use it now way more to, like, stay in touch than just, like, do whatever yeah. I was on my phone that I was doing at the time, like, making musicallys or whatever. Probably. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I know I was on YouTube a lot, so... Um, I was a YouTube kid, yeah. Yeah, but I just... Like, even now, I don't find... I don't think I've actually gone and watched a YouTube video in a long time, though. No. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> I don't do that. No. Um, um, and now, like, TikTok's a big thing, and that might be banned, yeah. so... It's, it's different, but... It is different. Yeah. Um, um, so, overall, the 8th grade hosts are better than... Yeah, they we were. were better than... But, you know... It was funny two, to react. What can you do? Um... We, we grew, we yeah. learned. We did love doing the podcast. I yeah. just, I feel like Great looking podcast. back four years later, it's like hearing yourself talk. Like, what was I even saying? Shout out Mr. Tottenham. Yeah. Great but teacher. Yes. 
Yeah, um, and great um, podcast he has going, yeah. and they've only gotten better. So, well, yeah. that's pretty much it yes. for today. <laughs> um, We've loved coming back. Yeah, I'm. Oh my God, wait, this is actually kind of sad. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. Um, <laughs> Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to. Should we say what college we're going to? Oh yeah. Um, I mean, I said it in the podcast before, but I'm going to the University of Missouri. Um, I'm going to be majoring in biology and psychological sciences, pre med. Yeah, I'm majoring in, or I'm going to University of Illinois, majoring in poli sci and um, communications on a pre law track. So. Yep. Yeah, but thank you guys for listening. We'll. I mean, no, we won't we be will back. We will not be back, but uh, <laughs> someone else will for the next season. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Know. It's even better. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Look at us go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like the things I was saying. Wait. Wait. It's, so <laughs> Wait, it's still recording. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about, but I was acting like I was going through just genuinely. Like the hardest times, <laughs> the hardest times of my life. You were not going through that much. I no. swear. No, my life was perfect. I, I had nothing to complain about. I'd go like hang out with my friends. I I had like, no homework. Like I was, <laughs> like what was I saying? Probably go give this to Yeah.